Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Light of Hand and I'm very happy to say this, today I'll be doing an unboxing for Battletech The Beginner's Box by Catalyst Games and someone called Tops I think, if I look in the back here properly, yeah. Anyway guys, I haven't just got this one though, I also got this today. That will be another unboxing, maybe straight afterwards, may not be straight afterwards, but will be very soon. Anyway guys, I'm sorry, I'm very excited. So let's get my trusty box cutter out and let's get this open. Let's get the clean film off anyway. So we're going to have a quick look at the back. And then we'll... I love the artwork in the front actually. Um, I never played Battletech before guys. So uh, I've got a friend who has and hopefully he's willing to take me through the beginner box set at some point. And so, yeah, I do like the artwork. I've been, I don't know if you've seen on my channel, I've been playing the Battletech computer game. Not many of you are actually uh, watched it, <laughs> I'll be honest about that. So I do love, you know, this sort of like, I think this is a, an Arctic, yeah, it looks like snow. Because the people down there are wearing sort of special suits. And I believe that's a Wolverine. It could be a griffin, but I think that's a wolverine because of the little bits that are sticking out from the top. Again, I could be wrong. So let's quickly turn it over. Uh, I'll find out in a minute. It's just that I think the pictures show them on different shoulders. The you know, Yeah, so it's that one there, which I do believe is a wolverine. So, well, we'll find out in a second anyway. Right, so let's have a quick zoom in at the top here for a little bit of fluff. The comlic buzz with the uh, pre-battle orders. The pounding rhythm of the metal titans on the prow. The shifting, the shifting glow of your ba battle mech controls spread before you. Then the amplant tons of incoming fire wall wells in your cockpit as missiles, auto gun shells, lasers fall like Thor's hammer against your armor. Seizing your uh, mech controls, drawing your weapons into line, you unleash the hellish response. So yeah, I'd, I'd love the computer game. I really, really loved the computer game, so I'm really looking forward to giving this actually a go. Um, so, it's not that thick the box, I'll be honest. Um, again, it's only a starter set, so... Let's put that over there. Okay, so you get yourself a what well, looks like a novelette. Bear command, a Kobe Commando story. A commando, so it's only the little guy. See, these used to be my favourite mechs because of like Mech Commander back in the day. It should have been a simple job. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, these. Okay, so you've got some um, cards here. You get two dice. I'm assuming that's meant to be over there like that. So, but you do get some two uh, two d sixes. Let's put that in the box over there. Um, okay, I need to be. A, I'm not sure. I need to show all this, but I'm going to have a look. Remember, I don't know what this all means. I, I can see a, a card for a locust uh, V1. Yeah. Also, guys, for someone who's just starting, I've got the starter set. Is there a book that's a good idea to get? And also, I'm wondering what would be a good sort of bit maybe to get these sheets sort of thing because I can see they actually have what they would have so walking, running, jumping, 20 tons light mech so yeah, so that's kind of cool you also have a record sheet I believe oh it is a Wolverine so, oh it might not be the Wolverine it might have been the uh, Griffin on the front because the shoulder um, things in a different way but you can see this one can take a lot more hits than the 20 tonner but it's a 50 ton f uh, medium mech uh, a lot slower but this one can jump oh there's another locust this one's the locust e um i think it's got the same armor is its weapons different let's have a quick look because there's another locust here so that's got like medium lasers, and this one's got some medium lasers. Oh, it's just medium lasers, but this one's got machine guns. Uh, okay, so I'll find out what this all means another time. Sorry about this, guys. Well, this one seems to be a little bit better off. Might be a little less armor. I'm not too sure. Can't tell. Trying to work out why it's got more weapons. Uh, 
This one's got the weapons in its centre torso as well. And then you've got another Wolverine. And it's got a slate. I like that actually. So it's got different. I wasn't expecting that. That's cool. Then oh, it was a Griffin. My mistake. The front one is a Griffin. Because that's the basically almost the same looking thing at the front. That's another 55 ton mech. With some different um, bits. Then there's the. Oh wow, this is a heavy mech. Which I don't think is in this one. This is the uh, Thunderbolt. Another Griffin. This one can jump by the looks of it. Uh, and the last one's. Oh, so you get a few bits for certain other mechs. That's interesting. Okay, so let's put this over here. I'm guessing they're the cardboard bits I can see at the bottom there. Then there looks like there's some pilot cards here. Again, I don't know what these pilot cards mean, so bear with me, please, guys. Uh, and some of these names I will not be able to pronounce. I'm terrible with names as it is. Uh, so some of these I will have a small problem pronouncing. So you've got... Devon Crony. House Devon. Okay, so he's a... Okay, so he's got some special bees. And if you turn it over... It has the Zen Zenith. Again, I'm probably terrible at that. Now, I don't know what these things mean yet, and I will find out at some point. Obviously, you've got the other sort of like other mech bits. So that's interesting. So there's obviously four of these pilot cards. I'm not going to show everything because I don't want to get myself into trouble, if I'm being honest. I'm probably showing too much as it is. Let's... So now let's take a quick look at the models because they are the next things here. Again, I need to quickly look at the cards because I don't want to get the name of the wrong one here. I believe this one is the uh, Wolverine. So I'm going to lift this a bit. I'm going to get my white piece of paper that's buried on now underneath the other box. So this will take me a few seconds. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, so... Nah, it's no good. I'm going to lift this up and put that to there and hold my hand behind. Yes, guys, so any suggestions of what would be good to get next, like a rule book or something like that, I would appreciate. Um, I'm kind of wondering where you can maybe get some more models like this because this doesn't look too bad. To be honest, I'm looking, I would like to get the flea, the spider and maybe the fire starter as well because I kind of like the light mechs. Um, I know about Clanger Mets because of the Mech Warrior game. I used to love Mech Warrior Mercenaries, and I'm really happy Mech Warrior 5's coming out. Um, looking forward to where they go with that. Let's see if there's anything underneath. No, so that's the uh, that's the Wolverine. So okay, I need to put these away a bit better than I have. So let's put them over here like that. Let's take out you. So this is the Griffin. Now it doesn't have his little eye ten eyes sticking out the top. But it does have the armour down the sides. These don't look too bad, you know. It's hard plastic. It seems quite durable, which is cool. Because, quite frankly, if it broke my fingers there, I'd be upset with myself. Um, so, yeah. As I said, I'm really hoping to be playing a game. I'm going to be asking one of my friends if it's all cool for me and him to meet up and play this. Okay, so I'm guessing these are t yeah, these are the tiles. So I like the fact they show the back armor as well, because obviously where you're going to be shooting it um, determines where you're going to be hitting it. I get that just from the computer games. I also like the fact you've got these extra little terrain bits. So this means like light woods, heavy woods, adding extra bits to the maps that are already there. That's kind of cool. Uh, again, catalysts and tops, uh, battle tech. So these are really, this is really cool, man. I'm really, really happy to have got my hands on this. I haven't seen a rule book yet, thinking about it. <laughs> that worries me a little. And also, this map does not feel very strong. That worries me a little, if I'm being honest here, guys. So let's put that out like that. Um, doesn't... It, you've got to remember, guys, it's not on a flat, flat surface at this minute. Um, maybe if I... See if I can move this, move that to over there, and move this out of the way. We can maybe get a better view of it on a flat surface. Probably not because I have the way I've angled everything. But let's just see how well it sits straight away. 
Um, that's not too bad. I know it doesn't feel. Mm, I don't like the fact how thin the material is. It also blends in with part of my table, but obviously you've got these nice little squares. Now, I remember when I used to play a little bit of squad lead. Well, when I was a lot younger, I used to play a bit of squad lead with my older brother. Didn't understand a huge amount of squad leader, if I'm being honest, at the time. I love this. It. It's all like a very, I don't know, Marsy, but sort of surface with a little bit of train. And the other side seems to be a lot more with some other bits. Again, it just seems a bit, I, mm, as much as I was, I was getting happy, what I've seen so far, this worries me. It seems very easily ripped, very easily damaged. That mm, is a little gripe. It's only a little gripe, because I, I don't know, you know, what sort of wear and tear it's going to take, and so on. So that's the only reason why I'm making these little noises here and there. Okay, so the interstellar, sort of bit. Uh, so, oh, this might be telling me what to get. Oh, oh, cool. So they're starting it in 25. So the clan, I believe, is not here at this point. If I'm being honest, the, my favourite house in the Battletech is actually um, House Devon. Um, but, but also, you know, I've, I know of these two more than I do of the others, if I'm being honest. Even though I have been playing Battlemech, I have been making friends with this in the battle mech um, game but yeah I'm just kind of I'm interested it's very interesting I do kind of like what I'm seeing sort of uh, all along this I can't try to work out where um, certain other houses are there's another house that interests me and it's not here it's the ball one Torin, I believe it's called and then the battle mech Mech Warriors. Does it, I was hoping it would tell me what other little things were available. Quick Star Rules. Oh, ah. So there is somewhere else I could go to get um, miniatures. Uh, da -da -da, let's zoom out. So it is something metals. Uh, is there an actual? Is a name around here somewhere, somewhere else? Because Iron Wind Metals keeps keep your metals in. Man for over 15 years. Oh wow, so there's a few. Wow, there's a lot of expensive, especially considering I'd probably have to pay massive shipping for that. Okay, because I, I, I would love them if they did some more models for them. I don't know if they're allowed to by certain laws or something like that. So, ah, so there is some other bits at the back here. So, okay, so you get your little quick start. Oh, sorry guys, if I seem to be blabbering on and Little quick start rules. I'm gonna try and get through this at some point. With, as I said, with one of my friends, just sort of go through, have a quick look about what's needed, and so on. How you been anyway, guys? I'm really actually like you. I'm seeing. I've always wanted to play BattleTech. The only thing is, I'm not a um, for someone who does play like a lot of Warhammer sort of stuff. Um, Damaged from previous turn. Okay, so he's taken certain bits. I like this. I do kind of like what I'm seeing. Uh, so it then tells you playing with multiple mechs. Um, all right, I've got the new core set. Uh, tactical readouts. Not sure what they do. So, and then so there's some other bits as well. So beyond the piloting skills, damaging heat, heat. So there's. Oh yeah, of course. Computer games make your face heat, don't they? So this doesn't have heat in it. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think. Tell me yourselves. You know, would you? You know, what you have you played? What's you're interested in? Are you interested in this set? What about this set was what got you interested? Now, for me, I always wanted to play BattleTech, um, but all my friends were already playing Warhammer and all of that, so that was never going to really happen, to be honest. And so for me, I was very, you know, very happy when I heard about this stuff coming out. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get it. And I was very lucky to get it, I've been told, because of some problems with uh, the distribution of it. So the fact that the shop, my local shop, managed to get it and get the other set. Why can I not open the D6 bag? Okay. Managed to get them. I, um, made me happy. So, yeah. So, guys. 
Again, as I said, if you like the video, please click like. Um, tell me in the comments what you think. Have you bought the set yourself? Are you someone who's uh, already played? Was it the computer games that got you interested? Uh, for me, it's it was like I always wanted to play, and I never got to when I was younger because, again, it was just too much. I was already playing Warhammer, and it just was taking already taking up a lot of my time and money at the time and I was doing a lot of role play stuff so yeah so I picked these up for a bit of fun anyway guys I hope you're having a good day see you later bye